So for the fourth year in a row, the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors will be facing each other in the NBA Finals. Now, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. So when I was growing up, it always seemed like the Yankees and the Dodgers always met in the World Series. And the Celtics and Lakers always met in the NBA, NBA Finals. They probably didn't meet as much as I remember a meeting or seemed like the meeting. I think like the Yankees and Tigers only met in like 78 and 81 growing up. And they had the big rivalry back, way back in their old days, back when the Dodgers were in Brooklyn. But those are the two great championship series rivalries. Oh, and also the Steelers and Cowboys in the, in the Super Bowl. How can I forget that? Um, and clearly, uh, Golden State Cleveland in NBA finals, finals is becoming one of those championship rivalries. Okay, so as far as a serious prediction goes, this is my thoughts. I think LeBron James, and I think a lot of people agree, is the best current player in the NBA right now. He's taking this team on his back and got him to this point. Now, this statement will get, you know, some agreement and some disagreement. I think he's the best player of all time. I realize that's subjective, but I just think he checks off more boxes than Michael Jordan. Um, but as long as Jordan has 6-0 and oh, and LeBron James has more losses and wins and championships, that would always be a complaint argument for Michael Jordan. But that's a whole other video, a whole other topic, another time. What he's done this season is absolutely impressive. I think that if Cleveland wins a championship this season, but LeBron James will be the greatest season by a player in NBA history, uh, topping Michael Jordan's uh, 72 win season and championship. But I want to talk about more in another video um, some, other, some other time. That being said, one player, no matter how great he is, going to so much. And I think Golden State is one of the great teams in NBA history. I just think they have more weapons than Cleveland does. You know, they probably have, you know, three top five players compared to one top five player, who obviously thinks best, the best player. Anyways, I like Golden State in six games in this series. That's my prediction, Golden State in six games. So do you agree, do you disagree? Do you think Cleveland pulls off the upset? Do you think Golden State wins in fewer games or wins in seven games? Anyways, please let me know in the comments down below. As always, I may or may not be an expert, but I'm a long time fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. If you like this video and like what I do here, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next video.